Right, I was asked on, on the forum about uh, the values that we pick for G uh, in terms of L gamma, and uh, there is there is a, a simple way of looking at at, at the value that, that we pick uh, for G. So what we have in L gamma is that we have a G value, a P value, and an X value. So the P value is a prime number and X is a random number and we need to select a G value and I'll just explain how the G value happens. But what we do is we calculate a D value and that is done with this uh, calculation. So if we take a G value of uh, 2 take a p-value of 11 and then we'll take an x-value random number of 5. So d becomes 2 to the power of 5 mod 11 which I think should give 10. So our public key <coughs> becomes uh, g, p and d or 2, 11 and 10 and our private key becomes our x value which is 5. Okay so that's the way it works we have a public key three values here and we have a private key which is just a, a single value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain in hopefully the simplest way possible of the values that, that we that we can select for for for, for g. Okay, so the basic form that we have is this, with our discrete logarithms. And then what we've got to make sure is that for every value of x, we get a unique value of y. So let's now select a g value of 2 and a p, our prime number of, of 11. And what should happen is that for every value of x up to the value of p, we'll get a unique value of y. If we don't, then it won't work. So what we'll do is we'll map out x. And what we want is uh, g to the power of x mod p. So that's 2 to the power of 1 mod 11, 2 to the power of 2 mod 11, 2 to the power of 3 mod 11, 2 to the power of 4 mod 11, 2 to the power of 1 is 2, mod 11 is 2, 2 to the power of 2 is 4, uh, 2 to the power of 3 is 8, 2 to the power of 4 is 16, mod 11 is 5, 2 to the power of 5 mod 11, and I need a calculator here, so just let me see where we are. It's 10. 2 to the 6, 11, gives us 9. And then we go 7, 3, 6, 1, 2. And we come back to the start, start again. So when we get to uh, 11, when we get to 11, we come back to 2 again. And what you should notice here is that these <coughs> are all unique values from 1 to p and minus 1 or 1 to 10. So we can now say that g for a prime number equal to 11, g can equal 2. So 2 will work because every value that we use uh, here will give us a unique value there. But now let's look at using a value of 3. <coughs> so if we selected 3, 3 to the power of 1, 3 to the power of 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, so that becomes 3, that becomes 9, and I need to use a calculator here. Uh, 5, 4, 
one, three, nine. It should now repeat. And what we can see here is that this is starting to repeat here. So we put in a value of six, we got three. We put in a value of one, we got three. So this value of g won't actually work. So g equal to three doesn't work. g equal to four, we'll try that. So g equal to four. And four to the one, four to the two, four to the three, four to the four, to the five, and we get four, five, nine, three, one, four, five, nine, three, one. <coughs> so now it repeats again. So we can't use four. Same thing happens for five. But if we now try six, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, six gives us six, three, seven, nine, ten, five, eight, four, two, one six the <laughs> okay so six works seven should work eight eight works and so on okay so in this way we can actually select a value of g which will make our discrete logarithms actually work okay so i've just done a basic calculation here so you can see that uh, this one, this one works. There's all the values from one to 10. There's the values. This one doesn't work because it's repeating after here. This one doesn't work as it repeats. Again, this one doesn't work. This one works and so on. And we can select other ones, although the values become quite big within uh, Excel. So if we take 17, and you see we're losing a little bit there. So for 17, 17 works, because you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. And then if we look over here, for 3, so 3 also works doesn't work because you can see that we're repeating here. Five, if we look at five, five works. Six works and so on. Okay, so in this way this is how we calculate or determine if we can use a certain value of g. Okay, thank you.